Greetings, people of Earth. Welcome back. My name is Jax, and today it is okay to be gay. I don't know who needs to hear this, but I feel like we all need to hear this at some point, repeatedly, every now and then. Um, I don't know. It's just we're at a weird point. I, I like to think of it as like the pendulum shift. So for the last 10 years, the pendulum has been shifting pretty left wing, you know, um, pretty accepting, liberal, um, very globalization kind of esque. Uh, and that that kind of like, we are all one world, we are all together. Um, obviously, there has been a bit of like extreme left wing, you know, like the communistic sort of ethos, um, you know, we are starting to do things about climate change. You know, like, I think we can all agree there has been this pendulum shift to the left. There has been this big explosion of left-wing ideology and those kinds of things. Um, and it's not necessarily good or bad in in some ways. I'm I'm a person that likes moderation, so I think any any too much of anything is not a good thing. But I think we're starting to see this, like, shift back to traditional values, conservatism, economic conservatism, isolationism, protectionism. We're seeing a lot of people, like a lot of countries importing or putting on tariffs on imported goods. Um, and this is the shift back to sort of maybe the center or maybe a bit further right wing, which can be concerning, especially if you are a minority in a country or um, if you are somebody who identifies as queer or any of these things. I've seen several different statistics around the world that um, it's something like one in three young Dutch people are now sort of hostile towards LGBT, which is wild because Amsterdam used to be like the epicenter of LGBT expression and that sort of thing. Um, and you're seeing that across the board. You're seeing younger people sort of identifying more with traditional conservative values, Christian identities, um, religious identities in general. Um, and so you're kind of seeing this little bit of a backtrack in terms of LGBT acceptance. And uh, I'm sure in some places it's still getting much better every single day. But here in the West, I think we're definitely starting to see this kind of like us versus them mentality where many people look at queer people or climate change people as sort of these like radicalists and things like this. Um, and so my worry is that this pendulum shift back to more conservative and traditional ideas is going to affect a lot of queer people pretty harshly. Um, and we're kind of like an indicator species where, you know, when the environment starts to turn a little bit hostile, we're the first thing that notice it. And I wanted to make this video for several reasons. And now I'm going to get into the whole, it's okay to be gay thing. Um, first of all, like we're all on different journeys, right? And so I may be out and proud and very out and proud based on my social media. And yet I don't have to experience a lot of the traditional hate that LGBT people get, partly because I live in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I don't present immediately as as gay. I can kind of get by with people thinking like, oh, whatever, he's just Jax, like whatever. Um, whereas other people don't have that privilege. Other people don't have the ability to sort of pass as straight. I don't like the idea of passing straight. I think, you know, I kind of get offended when people just assume that I'm straight. I'm like, of course not. Like, why would you just assume? Why would you just assume anyone's straight or gay? Like, how about we just don't label each other like this to begin with? But anyway, um, yeah, so we're all at different journeys in our in our identity, in our quest to figure out who we are and, you know, explore the universe that we have available to us. Um, that sounded very feng shui, didn't it? Anyway, um, and obviously being at different stages, we all come to terms with things differently. We all deal with like a bit of self-hate or am I a good person? And I wanted to make this basically because I know that there are going to be a lot of people, whether you are 14 years old, whether you are 75 years old. And I want you to know that it is absolutely unequivocally okay to be gay. There is nothing wrong with you. You are not morally a bad person. You're not a corrupt person. You are not going to hell. You are not unworthy of love. And I think this is a really hard thing to get into your head. And it's really pernicious because our society is not 
catered to us because we are a minority, because we're not the main population, and culture is supposed to make the most amount of people just be able to skirt on by, that doesn't work if you're not mainstream. Um, and so many of us are constantly dealing with this battle of, am I a good person? Have, have I done something wrong? Am I a sinner? And if you are from like a Judeo-Christian Islamic background, like myself, uh, it could be really hard to view yourself as a good person just because literally the Bible, Quran, and Torah all sort of, well, not so much the Torah, but the, these things don't preach that being gay is okay and that, you know, in some extreme cases, people will espouse hatred or hostility towards you. And so growing up in this kind of climate where, is it really okay to be gay? I don't know. Hmm. Um, you tend to develop these like really negative feelings towards yourself. And when you try to express who you are in any way, it is very easy to be shut down and to feel like you are corrupt, like you are the bad person. But please, please know that you are so much more than okay. You are an incredible person and the vast majority of people do not have to contend with the idea of being a bad person or contend with going to hell. The vast majority of the straight population goes about its day thinking that it's amazing, that there's nothing wrong with it, that it's normal, that it's just fine, that it's skirting by. Um, and the vast majority of the queer population is constantly battling with this idea of, am I a good person? Where, where is my life gonna go? What am I gonna do? Um, are people gonna judge me harshly? Am I gonna be accepted? We are constantly having to deal with these like incredibly deep, deep cutting philosophical questions and we don't always have the answers. And because we have to ask this of ourselves every single day, there are gonna be days where you decide that, oh no, I'm not worthy of love. Oh, I'm not worthy of, of life. And that is absolutely tragic because newsflash, homosexuality, queerness exists in every species. Basically, every species that you can shake a stick at, we exist. Um, whether you subscribe to the idea that it's an evolutionary thing, whether you subscribe to the idea that you were born this way, um, or there was a cultural thing that happened, there are obviously many factors. The science is not in yet. Um, but I can tell you for a fact that who you are and, and you know the way that you express love towards other people is not bad. It's not evil, it's just who you are. And so to question and say, oh, I'm not a good person because I like the same sex, that is so screwed up. Um, and it's not, it's not your fault, it's society's fault, but you need to know that it is okay to be gay and that there is nothing wrong with who you are. And by living your life in accordance with your moral values, the way that you know you think you should live, as long as you're not impacting other people negatively, and you're keeping yourself in reasonable health and reasonable happiness, you are a morally good person. Like I'm, I made a video a while ago about when people question if they're good people, they're probably good people because bad people don't question that. Bad people just assume that they're good. You know, a narcissist will always assume that they are the center of the universe, that they are amazing, that there's nothing wrong with them. And that's the problem. You know, if you, if you worry about these things, you're probably okay, you know? If you didn't worry about them, you might be a little bit, mm. The balance that comes in with this is to have that concern of, am I a good person, but not let it destroy your life, not let it ruin every waking moment, not keep you up at night. Um, being a good person is a lot easier than I think a lot of people think. We do not all have to be out there you know, liberating countries in order to be a good person. To be a good person, you just have to not negatively impact yourself, other people, the environment. That's basically it. Really, there, there really isn't that much left. Contributing to the world's global positivity, you're a good person. Congratulations. And by being gay, that has nothing to do with whether you're a good person or not. And I think Again, society is built in such a way that we're constantly questioning, am I a good person? What am I doing? You know, 
Am I gonna provide grandchildren for my parents? You know, there's these like questions that we wonder of like, man, am I making a mistake? But you're not because you are who you are. You can't change that. I don't, I wouldn't want to change that. And I hope you wouldn't want to change yourself either. And there can be a beautiful existence for all of us at the same time. I, I preach this a lot, but life is not a zero sum game. We can all prosper and do well and love our families and grow our communities and become amazing people. It is very, very possible. There are people that spoil it. There are greedy people. There are narcissistic people. And you just have to try and avoid them, you know? And if you clicked on this video because you are concerned about, am I a good person because I'm gay? I can tell you that you are absolutely a good person. You are probably somebody who seeks and is curious and who wonders about the universe and where we came from and how we were made and, you know, why were we born this way? But at the end of the day, when your head hits that pillow, I want you to be able to say, I'm a good person and it's okay to be gay. It is more than okay to be gay. It is good. It is fine. There is nothing wrong with it. The Judeo-Christians will go back into the Bible and try and pull out every little verse they can throw at you. Um, but they're just insecure and they're not preaching what religion is supposed to do. And religion is supposed to comfort us, make us feel connected with our communities, make us love. That is the absolute best hope of religion. And if any kind of person wants to get all religious up in you, like, you know, talk down to you about it, you can bring up the fact that modern day traditional religions that are societally accepted have contributed to so much pain and suffering, have contributed, not alleviated. So if anyone wants to throw stones at us, it should not be the religious people. They have no ground to stand on. Um, and then the people that just hate us because they hate us, we can't change them. Um, I hope that their numbers are shrinking and that they you know, are relegated to the dustbin of history. I hope we look back on this age and go, what absolute nutters. I'm so glad they don't exist anymore. And their time is coming. You know, they, they are at an age where you know, their numbers are shrinking and they are going to disappear. So, but we are not going to disappear. Um, and so the final message I will say is it is okay to be gay. Love yourself, love who you are, love your community, be unequivocal, be who you want to be. And don't, don't sweat it. Don't, don't worry about it as much as I know that I do and you do as well, because we're on the right track you know your plan, you know your path, even if you think you don't, you do. And that's that's my advice. So thank you for listening. Um, I hope you're able to spread some positivity today, represent who we are in a meaningful and impactful way. And remember that it's okay to be gay. <laughs>